sounds very pretty, so it do. Yes, that's right, give me more of these. I'm a fucking pig ready to gorge myself on them. <laughs> Ranger! Alright, time for more shooty shooty bang bang. Welcome to the Tower of Targets. This one's pretty fun. You basically have one big tower with targets throughout, like, its different sides that you bring down as you, uh, as you shoot. So you're just kind of going around shooting targets. It's pretty fun. I like this one. Yeah. Triple shot. A little motif, we've talked about this, but it sounds to me like Rolling Star, and I can't unhear it. Every time. Like, I'm with the car, I'm surprised that that isn't what they're going to say. Because that's not a Daytona USA thing. That is a thing that just cars do in racing. I wish Mario Kart had Rolling Starts. That'd be fun. What, don't they? Because you can do the acceleration thing at the start. Well, but what it specifically means is, like, they all start at the same time already moving, right? Like, they're already pretty much driving at the same pace to get going. Right. Yeah, I could definitely uh, improve on that one, I think. Yeah, you pretty much have to run and jump at the same time, like, not charge and sit still, and then you can do it pretty easily. Still not enough for another upgrade, so uh, maybe this one. Ooh, no, you need crystal. You need crystal needle. We're getting to the point where they're starting to be locked away because of that. But are there other hidden ones all? Oh, yes, there are. Scissor lift mouth. Stretch and collect. Scissor lift road. Not a fun. It's just when you mention scissor and mouth together that I get a little bit uncomfortable. I was literally just going to say that, like, scissors and mouths should stay apart. Okay, do that. Hey, you got it. Okay, so the concept is good. You're not invincible during it. It only does damage when it shoots up at stuff. Learned that the hard way in a previous level. Ow. It's fine. We're moving. We're schmoving. Don, I did the wrong thing. We'll have more than enough time. Oh boy. Got your dumbass. Oh no. You have to wait for it to reform, go across, and then jump up. There you go. I expected worse. The, the transformation ones, aside from the stair one that we, you know, we saw, uh, they, I don't find them to be too bad. Oh, also the pipe, I guess. Mm, yeah, that one was pretty tricky. Now, is there any more here? Because I still need some coins. I think there is. Oh. Because there usually is about four of them around. Return to Waddle Day Town. We need that crystal. Crystals, of course. The hammer will have to wait. 
God, I have a lot of Waddle Dees. Mm, you've got most of them as of up to now. I think I've got all of them except any hidden ones and the one from that one level. Okay, so... Yeah, let's do it. One coin. <laughs> it's all I have left in this bitch of a world. It is kind of fitting that the second one was a reference to crystal shards, and now we just are a bunch of crystal shards. That's beautiful. I think if we ever do a, another Kirby game, it probably will be uh, Crystal Shards. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, not only does it leave a little uh, trail of them, but it also shoots them out as you uh, burst out of it. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's fine. I didn't find myself using this one much at all. Yeah, well, it's shiny, and that's all I really care about. That's true. That is undeniable. That's an Anton Hood classic, baby. You ready, Kirby, for another freestyle with an upgrade you already just got? Alright, forgot what tape we're on? Doesn't matter, here's Anton's pro tip for the day. You can't roll up ledges, as far as I'm aware, but you can chuck your stuff by letting go of B. So use that to get rid of the stuff on the ledge. And then otherwise, just pretty much hoof it, getting everything you can, because each one you hit builds up your speed. Between these. You gotta be graceful with the analog stick. Yeah. Okay, what was the estimated time for that? Son of a bitch. Yeah, you, you pretty much just have to take those corners slightly tighter. Well, that's for expert Tom64 in universe 2-B. I'm good, thanks. Anyone else got secrets for me? Oh, hello. Little Oasis. Yeah. Water balloon mouth treasure, of course. Let's go! Wow. Okay. Uh, slippery parade it is. Get out of here. Yeah, so don't focus on cleaning everything up. Just focus on getting through as fast as possible. Yeah, I think I should be good for that. Fill just by pressing B on it. Hey, you got it. Love me a bit of low frame rate carnival rides. <laughs> That's what happens when you go don't buy the fast pass at Disney. When will Kevin Pereira or whatever the fuck his name is cover this? He did do a, a really good fast pass video. He did. I'm gonna be honest. I'm so smooth brained that I was kind of zoning out at one point. Huh? You gotta you gotta hit the one and then hit it again when it falls. Oh, I see. So yeah, I was so smooth brained that I kind of zoned out like halfway through. Still very interesting and worthy of praise for the amount of research that went into it. It's wild. Oh, this is hellish. Why would you make this, Nintendo? Ooh, you got this. 
uh, jump over! Ho 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 ho! Yeah, def definitely stuff that could be improved there. 20 seconds! Oh my goodness. Whatever, we take it. <laughs> All you get is extra coins, who gives a fuck? Okay, I assume that's all the secrets. We'll uh, see when we get to the boss. Yeah, because then we'll we'll have the stage list that'll tell us. Moonlight Canyon. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> would you count that as a vista? I would. Even though it's not looking at like the sky, it's still looking at stuff up in the distance. So in this first area, there are a few things we want to find. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking for some wanted posters, as well as a secret room, which should be pretty obvious. It, it's not that hard to see. Okay, you're not going to be going in that big door up there just yet. Okay, okay you got it. Hey, get out of there. That's not the secret room, actually. Oh, I see you. There it is. Twin drill. Interesting. Okay, is that the secret thing? Yep, you're good to move on. Okay. Oh, hello. This looks weird. Little bit. I mean, I guess it should give you more brightness because the crystals should, you know, reflect the light, but alas. Countdown to those light-loving assholes. What experiments were you guys performing here? This is like a top-secret army base in the middle of the desert. Aliens. Up there. Oh, I see you, you asshole. Hello. Is there another one of those don't get hit by these guys things? No, actually. So if you do get hit by them, it's all fine. Cool, 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 cool. Why is there a thing up there? Because you're going to go around in a circle. Okay. I was weighing up my options. And my options were you, you could have all of them at the top. Son of a bitch. Don't really like the fact we've had a uh, a baby's ball in the middle of this hellscape. Yeah. Now, what I will say is there is a secret around these cannons. Around these cannons. Okay. I think I can see it. Secret in the distance. I love light bulb Kirby's walk. I love that out of all the different like mouthful modes, I feel like the one he has the most movement in is light bulb because he kind of runs and jumps just as well. Ow. See, the cannonball hitting me, I get. What, is the actual thing made of corrosive poison? It's red hot from always firing. Okay, I guess that's fair. What does that do exactly? Oh, hey. Money and a friend. <laughs> the best combination. Now before you go, you might want to look around just a little bit more here. Oh, don't you worry. That's a wall. Lizard. Not this far back. What could it be? Oh, hey. B. 
We good? We are good. Ah, finally, back in the open air. This section gives me big rock star energy, the planet from Kirby 64. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see that a little bit, yeah. Sadly, not as good a theme, because that theme is the best. That's pretty cool. Should have come onto my elevation, asshole. Cutter's super useful here for the stuff on these platforms. Oh, I see it. You just fly on over, because you stick to the same, like, height. Uh, before you go on, I would go back a bit. Okay. Just straight down from where you are. I was gonna say, like, is there anything I've missed? And yes, that would have been gross negligence on my part. Especially because he was literally in view of Kirby, just not in view of us, the players. Yes. Why, Kerbo, why? Uh-huh. Baguette. Baguette. I would go up, actually. Ooh, uh, that, that's that's progress, but there'd be secrets up there. Yeah, I ran into a similar situation with uh, Planoa recently. I got the collection, beat both of them. They're both uh, good games. One is very simple, even to a fault. Two has some stuff like in the middle and towards the end that I'm not super a big fan of when it comes to collecting, but otherwise I can definitely recommend the collection. From a couple of my friends who are Klinoa fans are like, yeah, one is they believe the better game, but, you know, the fact that they have two at all is nice, because that game's never been re-released. I, I would actually say two is better, but just. In terms of, like, locations and, you know, stuff that you do in there, use of 3D space. Don't get the sleep. Tricksy bastards. I didn't even notice all of them were asleep until now. And who knows, uh, you know, maybe, uh, Klonoa may appear on the HFC channel soon. Mm hmm. Klonoa Beach Volleyball for the PS1, right? Uh, no, the Wonder Swan game. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to do this to you. Look at him go. <laughs> mm, not seeing anything here. Am I good to go? You are. There's only one thing left for us to do. Nice. Tom, let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah, I deserve that, honestly. Oh, hey, it's this. Wow, I haven't seen this in a hot minute. There is a secret waddle dee with this, and I'm going to tell you when you're going to need to be on the right side. Okay, okay. Otherwise, just enjoy your time here. I will. Remember, you got your spin tackle? Spin. Getting a bit uh, worried over it, and I wasn't saying anything. No, no worries. It's I mean it's it's near the end. Ah. So just yeah. Okay, so go to the right. There's a second hole. Ah, I see it. You cheap bastards. It's fine. We take those. And that should be all, I think. No, no, we're not. There is one more thing here in this final room, because of course.
is surprisingly not that. You're going to want to go behind the goal. Of course I do. Stand between the three little cactus buddies. Thank you, cactus triplets. Very cool. And there we go. You didn't warn me about the one where it's like, don't fall in this particular room, but I got it anyway. Because honestly, those on the guide, they're just listed as the same one in the room, and that one I just... Another one that I just didn't fall in originally, so didn't even remember it. That's fair, mate. Nice. Cool, I guess. Oh yes, there's water in there. Getting repeats is one thing, getting digital repeats is another. I think out of all the beast pack I've seen, I think I know which one's coming up now. We did see this guy advertised, and I, I was surprised it took this long to get to him in the game. Thank you, my faithful servants. Collector in the Sleepless Valley. But first, are there any other things? Yes, they are. I knew there was one there. Frosty Ice Treasure. I'm already wearing it. And if we get enough coins, we can upgrade Hammer, which we want for the boss. Very good. See, this one, the gimmick is they want you to be placing the um, snowmen on the platforms to run into the enemies. I got you, I got you. You handle the skies, we'll handle the streets. You can also kick them, which is quite useful if you want to go towards an enemy. Yeah. I would just stay in the middle and fire in all directions, because they're going to go naturally towards the opponents. Yeah, good idea, but Lol. Labau, even. Just stay here and just spin. Spin and shoot. Big. We good? Oh, no, there's two over here. Being defeated by conveyor belt must be insulting. Oh, for sure. Too bad I'm gonna keep doing it. Sadly, because we're using ice on ice, it's not super powerful, but uh, you can just pretty much find time to hit him and do it. No. I would just keep firing, and then when he runs into those ice things, they will hurt him. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's going for the command grab. <laughs> he sure is going for it. He's like, oh, I'm tired. Run for these, you asshole. Where am I? Oh, there. Just tank through his hits. I momentarily lost myself. There you go. Not bad. Could be improved. To do that one really well, you need to basically be firing from the middle to keep spawning those icicles, the little snowmen, and then he, they just keep running into him to damage him over and over. Well, 
Well, we've got another one, so uh, let's see. No! Why'd you do this to me? Well, whatever, let's go fight the boss. Now, I assume Hammer is needed for one of these. Yes, Hammer is his ability KO Waddle Dee. Interesting layout here. Give me the bounce. Well, now we know who's been putting these up. Really? What an asshole. So I tried super hard to get them all down. There's nothing you get for them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's the principle of the thing. See those hanging, handmade Kirby's? Mid-fight, you're gonna want to break them. I knew it. You bastards, you turned him into a doll. No, Kirby. Silly Dillo. I hate its name so much. Yeah, it took a minute to catch up there. You're gonna wanna dodge his attacks and then hit him a good few times. I would recommend using the Bayonetta dodge. I haven't really been using the dodge much. It's because I'm more thinking of it as a Kirby game than anything. I mean, that was in previous Kirby games too. I know, but still. Nice. I don't like that. I'm just going to stay in ball form now. This is very cool. This guy and his arena are very Monster Hunter. Ah, didn't realize he was going to come back. Oh yeah, he does it three times. So do you need to dodge three times? There we go. See, my problem is I thought dodge was a button. No, it's with the stick when you're holding the buttons. The whole lot he coming. Ah! Got too greedy. I delve too deep. I love how he's like, he looks at it, he's like, how did you get out? Ah. Those come out quicker than uh, you might anticipate. We do this again. Three there are, no more, no less. Final phase. What fresh hell is this? His wife. Well, I guess he is silly. He's <laughs> doing some ballroom dancing with the missus. up to his name. This is a very silly fight. It is. It's fun, though. Oh, yeah, I like it. I've said it in the earlier part, the bosses are, like, the one noticeable improvement over old Kirby games, and I stick by that, because the other ones are just, like, find a dude, do a thing. Oh, Jesus! 
No! I didn't mean to insult Kirby. I'm sorry, Sakurai. <laughs> It's okay, he doesn't work on it anymore, sadly. I know. That's the joke. Now, can I destroy his wives? You can. You can jump and hit them, and they do break. Well, at least with I, when I went with Bomb, they did. I guess Hammer. We might... Or, you know what? It might be only level 3 Hammer. Maybe. Because I did get that for this fight, and oh boy, was that fun. I've had enough of your wife shenanigans. Ow. Ow. Don't you hate these wife guys? He is super open when he does this, um, the third one. All I wanted to do was live in a desert, kidnap people, and have multiple inanimate wives. Is that so wrong? Also putting up wanted posters of someone I've never met. Really? Kind of sus, honestly, bro. Yeah, blizzard ice. This would look all uh, without the surly hat, yes. He just wants to be protected. Okay, yeah, and then obviously don't get hit. That's fair. That's how the bosses be. <laughs> bye bye. Whoa! I'm sure there's other secrets waiting there, taunting me. I think there might be one more. Don't be tempted, Tom. <laughs> you have a hammer to buy. Save that money. Rolling start. So we're decided. Oh yes. Oh, it has to be Hammer. Trust me. You want this one. Fair enough. I think we've got most of the blueprints at this point. Oh, I've been making sure we be getting them all. Twin drill. Ice. Or blizzard ice. Alright. Hammer, hammer, hammer. 800. Time to get wild. This one does lose a bit of the speed of the previous hammer, but boy jeez does it make up for it in power. Yo. A motherfucking Flint the Time Detective. See, it's meant to make you look like bonkers, but it does just make him look like a cool caveman, Kirby. Yeah. Jesus Christ. The level 3 charge for this is insane. Look at that damage! Oh, I could easily take out Silly Dillo quickly with this. So here's the thing. Again, if you dodge and then immediately hold the charge button, it starts at a level two charge. I mean, if you're in bane at a time, right? So you'd have to be hit there. But if you dodge and then immediately charge, it does so much damage, it can destroy everything. I beat the final bosses of this game with this ability and just destroyed them with that strategy. Good lord. Whew. Something, something power. I have enough. Let's put something back into the economy. Can't do it. You don't have enough. The gotcha inflation is real. It really is. Alright, back to the world map. What crazy area are we going to now? Yeah, this looks final, alright. 
It is indeed. Redgar Forbidden Lands. Oh, I got it! Enter the fiery Forbidden Lands. Why does this game go so hard? Oh, it really do. Alright, let's uh, just double check here. Oh no, looks like we got them all. Except for Buzzsaw, but I can grind together. And, uh, you know, while we're offline, I can go ahead and uh, just play a little bit on my own time, which is great. I love those sorts of games. The stars there, there's the rare stones by if you want to go through the arena a couple times. I mean, you could fish for money too, that's another way. Ah, indeed, he's so many news. There's 61 Waddle Dees! Jesus. Alright, folks, I guess we'll see you next time when we begin the end game. Bye for now.